was totally expecting an ambush there. Ambush now. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Weak points. Hitting different body parts will result in increased slash decreased damage and sometimes will even provoke different enemy behaviours. Some weak points are colour coded and can only be broken with enough damage of a specific type. Electricity damage, blue. Heat damage, orange. Boss time? Hi. Gotcha. You're on fire. Ooh. Ooh. Creatures goes beyond typical territorial behavior. So alluvial. Something causing such hostility. Okay, that's a cool introdu introduction. Yes, one of those introduction to a weak point system. Funky. So we're gonna have four different arrow types. So I'm assuming lightning, fire, cold, and. Poison? Maybe? Uh, da, da, da. I was going for the melee stuff, but actually, are we going to be... I suppose we might end up using the melee thing quite a lot. Definitely plenty of ammo around. Probably kill these with the the knife, couldn't I? Uh oh. Come on, matey. Oh dear. Okay, so that's what the environmental bits are for. How's my health looking? Uh, let's... Yeah, don't get a huge amount of healing from that, but it is a heal over time. This is quite a fun... Thing to explore. Didn't I see something down there that I wanted to go and check out? Just before we head up here. I thought I saw some kind of door. Yeah, there. Hygienic stuff. Uh huh. What is this? Log entry. These pipes are probably a part of a larger supply system. Acid. They're made out of a strong material that fractures when exposed to acid. This structural weakness could be exploited. Okay, acid is going to be our fourth element. <laughs> Tetra, Marsh Biome, report. Mutations Deep voice are alien. Specimens are enveloping themselves in mineral material, creating a stone like custodian. Their genetic structure is stable, 
Alpha of the pack is growing exponentially, which is promising. Genetic code fragment harvested. A recording of some sort. It sounds like a report from some kind of experiment. Okay, we're not going that way. So yeah, we've we definitely got kind of Metroidy style things going on here with different arrow types that not only do different elemental damages but also get us through certain pieces of blockage i like i like a lot uh oh hi friend what was that thing it was a bigger one of the things that We've just fought. What? Uh. Huh. Grapple points? Something to do with the freezing gun? Ooh. These creatures, it, it looks like their secretion is freezing the water. Oh. Log entry. The creature's carapace is underdeveloped. If I find a mature specimen, I might be able to utilize their freezing secretion. I better stick to the frozen surface if I don't want to be eaten alive. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So stay on the frozen path. Oh shit. something about that does that actually pause i think that pauses the game whilst we've got it up but i'm not sure this one is huge it's producing large quantities Aha. Of that right that's going to give us our, our q heal back are dripping with the fluid that's freezing the water. Okay. No, that that just goes from the same angle. Is there anything? Huh. <coughs> I assume there's got to be more to it than this.
Ah, hold on. There's the brain and the neural pathways leading to various organs. This gland is secreting the cryogenic fluid that's freezing the water. Okay. The cocktail of digestive acids is dissolving local plant life into conscious huh. matter. The process seems to be aided by bioelectricity. Okay. The dudo cerebrum seems to be generating an electrical charge. Good. <laughs> Try and find something else I can latch on to. Uh, ah, hold on. And this neural pathway is conducting large amounts of bioelectricity. Science. The creature is mixing bioelectricity with whatever it digests to generate an enzyme, and the enzyme is used to create a cryogenic fluid in the cranial gland. Uh huh. So if I take a sample, I might be able to replicate the process. Cool. Now, what are we going to do with it? This to craft some kind of cryogenic device with the MPU. It could help me to get through the worms. Uh, wh why do we have this on us? <laughs> Launches multiple cryogenic pellets that freeze water and slow down enemies. I kind of feel like we should probably have to return to a crafting table for this. Let's see if this device works. It's working. Sweet. Healing stimulants. Uh. Don't know where that healing stimulant thing went. Oh, has it gone down into the bottom left-hand corner? Do we have two full heals now? Oh yeah, we've got stamina. Should probably think about that. They should take me back to the monolith. But this way will take us up to the knowledge thing. And some fibre for healing. Uh <coughs> excuse me. No. Ah! Oh shit. Okay, so we can fall down the middle there. Okay, what happens when we die? All weapons with the same elemental properties are bound to the same key. Oh yeah, there was a thing right here, so... I'd forgotten, actually, that there was one right nearby. So there is a kind of collision seam.
Right, do I have to collect this, this again? Interesting, I do. That's surprisingly unusual for a Souls style system. I was gonna say, where are you? Yeah, so they actually break the um the ice flow, which is cool. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, that's cool. So we've got elemental combinations. Big fan of. Log entry. I'm detecting strong electrical energy inside the sack. Hadn't scanned those before. If the protective membrane is hit with an electric charge, it will explode. Sweet. Have some more fiber. Uh-oh. Oh, these things were eating the... What's it that I killed? And the big thing is watching. It's kind of a shame that this is pre-rendered, to be honest. Because it does look a little bit kind of 1080p. <laughs> Nicely animated. It's just a shame it couldn't be done in engine. Ouch. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> well, we found a boss. Like a proper boss. I'm going to be a boss. Um It is a bit of a run back. Quite a lot of them back at you, especially because the things haven't saved. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Yes, I find it very odd that we have to collect back to the a cube of knowledge each time. Nice. I'm intrigued as to whether this thaws... Yeah, the fact that it takes a while to get back to this boss. Um, see, interesting. It saved the codex entry.
Oh, I was far too slow then. The Alpha. Ooh, cool. Okay. Yeah, so now we've got two full. Ah, shit. Jeez, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Is there anything in here that I can... He's got a very wide hitbox compared to how our uh, dodge works. Um, I hadn't realised that the the charge on the fire gun actually does. You can't hold it indefinitely. Um, this run back is a bit much. That was a good start. So left hand is no good. Dodge. No, could have got that then, but... Do with a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, I, I feel like this is the first kind of level design misstep that we've seen. Um, especially because we lose the fibre that we've collected, so we have fewer heals. Oh. 
One, two, three. Yeah, that actually just un unless you are Oh, he throws stuff at you as well. Yeah, because of how long the, the, the thingy shot takes to charge up. That's not there. We, we don't have enough time to charge that. heals as well does he heal on that yeah the, the, the issue with this is not the fight the issue with this is getting back to the fight just takes too long and is too resource heavy you've got to get past all of these little shit things and at least we've got no souls or anything that we need to collect but the, the big issue I'm having is how long it takes the fire shots to... Because you have to charge it. You can't just fire it straight off. So this guy's animation actually is... His attack is too fast for the time that we have. I assume the green thing shows when he's... I'm not entirely sure why I didn't get hit by that first one. Oh, the fact that he can double tap that. Oh, you can shoot him in the face. yes that was tough but i think the biggest issue was the run back basic energy projector Ooh, a shield absorb incoming damage for a short duration of time but it will break if it's subjected to too much damage Press F to activate the protective barrier. It is also damaged for a period of time or until it breaks. Okay. That's 
cool. Also, what's this thing on C that we've got? <gasps> we've got a pulse scanner. It's got a long cooldown. This game's just getting more and more my cup of tea, frankly. Highlights enemies in red by the look of it. Doesn't show enemies hiding underwater. I love how much range this has got. I thought you might try something like that game. I was not disappointed. The textures on these rocks beneath our feet looks more painted than natural, which is kind of odd. Use the cryo launcher to get past the worms. There's quite a lot of demo here, considering, uh, as I've been saying in multiple episodes now, that I've been trying to keep these to 30 minutes. Clearly that's not worked, because we are now at an hour and 30 minutes, which is not 30 minutes. Because, you know, basic maths. Uh. Huh. Ah, a monolith. Nice. Also, a red thing. Let's, uh, let's properly activate this and get our heals back. Restore energy capacity in the mobile battery. Oh, ah, so that's a gadget. That's what the gadget things we're talking about. And we can have 20 fiber to restore the battery. I kind of feel like maybe fiber needs to be even more common than it actually is. Well, no, I suppose. We've got the upgrades for that, haven't we? It's raining. We look wet. It's, it's not the best face model. It's got a little bit dead-eyed stare. Fiber is full. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could bank. Oh, we're uh, clipping through that terrain. It'd be nice if we could bank our fibre. Keep it saved for a rainy day. Haha, <laughs> rain. Uh, that was not an intended pun. That's lovely. I'm really intrigued by how much how much quiet there is. Oh, we actually have to select the shields to use it. I'm wondering if I like that. You know, I don't mind a gadget wheel, but I kind of prefer to have consumables and gadgets on a separate button, I think. Uh, 
I think having them both on the same button actually might get annoying. Not sure. Falling animation could do with a little bit of work. Wet enemies freeze faster. Oh, oh. Well, glad we got the shield there. Is this just the boss enemy, but... Oh, interesting. They freeze faster, but... My God, the pain. Oh, my God. Okay. Restores power to gadgets. That was a good challenge, frankly. I appreciated that. I don't appreciate the fact that I'm very low on ammo. Though, to be fair, it's found in plants all over the place, so... So much for saving ammo. You can do this. Um, I I do like this this elemental combo thing. I love that system in games, and and the, the, it is very much kind of scratching the itch. Right, one thing I want to check: is there a way of? Um, I'd quite like to have a pulse scan, is see. I'd quite like to have our hood up all the time. You know, it, the, the, what, the, it disappears. And we can, we can right-click to, to bring it back up. But I'd rather just have it Frankly, I'd rather it just be here all the time. Huh. Right, the directional audio... Okay, cool. The directional audio isn't quite right. I'm hearing those things burst from the ground, and it sounds like it's behind me. 
Okay, you can shoot their backs to explode them. And they're toxic. The radius on toxicity is actually wider. Oh shit. I'm in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> Game suddenly got quite challenging. These things are uh are pokey, but in a fun way. In a you screwed up Demogen way. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.